Hey guys, welcome back. It is for Taurus Films and Doug 218. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, guys. Big Brother Season 21, episode number eight. And it is our version of the Diary Room Dish. Or House Guests, please. <laughs> Where we basically talk about what happened and what we think of what happened. <laughs> and things that make you shake your head. That seems to be a lot this year that oh. makes you shake your head. <laughs> seems to be like a recurring theme every, almost every season. It's either shake your head or slap your head. Going, or slap their head. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I could do that too. All right. If we had access to them. For Tara, so let's kick it off. Well, this is the eviction episode. And as we know, Sam had one veto, didn't use it, so Kemi and Tess just go on the block. And signs were pointing to voting Kemi out, but there was like portions like Cliff and a couple others, like Nicole and a couple others. So he actually wanted to try to flip the vote. Yeah. You mostly saw that in the feeds. They didn't really show that too much in the show. Um, where they were trying to get more votes to vote Jasso because they thought maybe Kemi would be better for their game than Jess. And I don't yeah. know. I, I guess because... It, it depends. I guess it depends on what um, what each one would bring to your specific game. Like if you need someone that's a good social gamer, like, like Jess Jessica. Is, Jess is good at that. If you want someone that's a stone cold killer, well, maybe Kemi. I don't know. Well, because Jess has said she had, she said if she she got power, she would go after the other I, side, you know, like Jack and Jackson and stuff. Although she seems to be she gets along pretty well with Jackson, so or Mickey me as he likes to be called, but he Mickey um Mouse, so. you know she seems to get along with them. So maybe but that... I think she also realizes that he's pretty close to Jack, so yeah, it so... may not really be beneficial to her to keep him kind of thing exactly. or to get that close to him or you don't know maybe this is part of her long run you know it could be you know uh yeah. you you banished me i'm gonna i'll befriend you and this and that and maybe. the moment i gain power guess what buddy i'm gonna i'm gonna put two in you and throw well, you up behind the shed so to speak really. <laughs> so. Yeah, but uh um now that would be tv <laughs> yeah, my PG. That's what that would be. <laughs> but, but she's working uh, her social game. I don't know if she thinks that way though, because ever since he did banish her, they've they've gone along pretty well. So, and I think he's kind of mended yeah. fences and explained yeah. why he did what he did. What he did, I guess, and so she might have accepted it. I guess. Who um, knows? It looks that way anyway. But man, the whole house is like. Cause, uh, somebody had said, I think on um, uh, Reality Barbecue, um, they were talking about that, the that, amount of couples that are forming. Oh, my God. Love Island instead of Big Brother. I mean, okay. We've had Kat and Jackson have hooked up. Yes. Nick and Bella, pretty close. So they've got a they're, they're canoodling. Like, connection. Um, Jack and Annalise have hooked up. Jack and Christy seem to be getting closer and Nick and Annalise now apparently are uh, kind of forming a somewhat of a relationship as well so can I make a suggestion to Zingbot come in with the cold water hose and hose these people down I think we're a few weeks out from Zingbot it's usually when they're down to about eight <sighs> and five or less see this is what happens when you don't give them some something else to do you know like that's a problem. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing else to do. So the, it, it's it's like it's a it's it becomes love shack all of a sudden, and it's because you don't they can't go anywhere. They can't do anything. Well, and they don't really give them a lot no. of stuff. I mean, no. yeah, they have the pool table. They've got they have the chess board. But what else do they have to do? They uh, they can swim, but, but I mean, yeah. you can't spend twenty four hours in the pool. You can only swim so much, shoot pool so much. And play and chess. Play so. chess so much. And if you don't know how to play chess or have an interest in it, fun. What do you do <laughs> aside from nap? Yeah, you know it's not a lot to do. I th I've always thought that maybe they should give them more to do, or, give, or give let them, them bring a book in or something. Or give them a game that 
has to involve everybody. Well, sometimes they have come up with games. So if we've seen other years, they've kind of come up with some games. Where, well, we, yeah. Heck, we've even seen some seasons where they've brought in Twister. Yeah, but that's not... That's usually later on the season. Yeah. They still do that. But it's not usually when there's this many people. I mean, everybody's still in the house. Nobody's gone off. I mean, yes, we do have evicted. But they're still there, so pretty much nobody's got on yet. Not so yet. they usually don't bring in like crap. They'll do crafts and they'll bring in games and stuff. But that's not until they're about like down to like single digits usually. Yeah, once they wheeled out half most of them. of them, you know. So, but anyway, so it looks like it's the season of the <laughs> or the season of hookups. Anyway, I don't know if it's love or relationships, but it's hookups anyway so far. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't you know, I can't see them laughing inside the house, but look, CBS, anyway. don't turn the lights off. The moment you turn the lights off, these people have hooked up. Okay, some of them have, yeah. yeah. I'm sure we'll see more <laughs> and change up. They'll change up. The oh, for, well, yeah, because but now both Jack and Jackson have both said, Oh, you know, because their respective first hookups so are like, Oh, that was a mistake. I should have done that. And I really want you to like. Jackson and Holly, and that oh, that's the other one, Jackson and Holly. Um, he's one oh. Holly now. Um, and then Jack or Jack to Christy, basically. Oh, I'll cut and loose, loose because if you want me to, basically, kind of thing. So it's like, okay, you know, the more you tell me about that, the more I shake my head. It's like, I'll, I'll kick her to the curb just for you. Yeah, do you guys really think that's something that women want to hear? You just you just hooked up to like an alliance member and you know and then now oh that was a big mistake. I want you, I'll kick her the curb for you. I, I guess some women do, but that's not really a uh something that most women want. I mean if you're smart, you really want a guy like that. <laughs> On behalf of most uh, of the males of the species that actually have a functioning frontal lobe. Mm-mm. 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 Well, we can like uh, a female with a function frontal lobe. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Women don't really look for that. No. Okay. Speaking of people with loose lips. <laughs> well, remember last time we were talking about Cliff. Cliff. Who talks to the camera all the time, and he basically spilled his entire game plan, and Christy overheard him. He was in the boat room. And, and then she ran and told everybody. Oh, just, just, just like it was. We saw that school. in my episode. It was grade school stuff. Oh my god, there's another alliance. Well, duh, it's Big Brother. <laughs> you think you guys are going to be the only ones in, in an alliance? Come on. And here's the alliance name: the Fellowship of, of the, the Sing. Sing. Seriously, that's that's worse than grateful. <laughs> um, and it's Cliff. Nicole and uh, Obi. and Obi. Obi's not even in the game. You know, and so... he may or may not get back in the game. <laughs> Staggers is my it, mind. Is it really smart to make an alliance with someone you don't even know is going to get back in the game? Well, that's it. You, 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 you. What? You're, you're an alliance of three, maybe. Tactically, too, because only Cliff and Nicole are still in the game. Yeah. Always yes in the house, but he's not in the game. He can't affect anything. Any, he, he can't vote. He can't win any choice. Can't win veto. He can't do. I mean, he's there. Yes, he might get back in, but you're, you, it, he may not. Too. He's got. He's gonna have to go against three other people. Yeah. So. And the other person who has loose lips in this house, Bella. Oh gosh. Bella, uh, listen, kids, don't ever tell Bella a secret. Don't ever tell her what your business, because that she'll girl, tell <laughs> she'll tell everybody. Well, because. She told Nicole, she's the one who told Jack that they were the ones who formed Black Widow. First thing, she said it was Jess who wanted to form Black Widow. It was actually her idea to form Black Widow, not Jess, but she wanted to put it on Jess. Of course. And because Jess all about girl power and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, and so then she told Nicole that she told Jack. And Nicole's like, well, why you did you do that? Dumb. So and so, he wouldn't have known otherwise. So and then Nicole went and told Jess, <laughs> and Jess finally understood why Jack thought she's when he started the yeah. alliance, and that Bella had thrown her under the bus. So, like the inform this inf- information's been bandied about that Bella can't keep quiet about anything. Oh, 
what else? She, she told somebody else something else. What else she let did? it slip that her, Mickey, and Jack oh, right. have, have a, a final, final three. three. Yeah. Okay, so Kemi's in the hot seat. And she's and she told Cammy this. And Kemi, you know, she was smart. She 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 didn't let on. She held on to the info and she's like, okay. Until she needed it. And, That's and, actually what you should do in this game. This is when she needed it. She went to Mickey and said, Listen, I want you to know, you know, some of the people you were with aren't that trustworthy. Right. Because I know you got a final three. Right. And you've had it since day one. And Kemi actually corrected the whole Black Widow one. Yeah. Too. She wasn't she was part of the Black Widow. And she said it was actually Bella's idea, not Jess's idea. And so and Kemi set straight the record straight with that, too. So it cuts to the diary room. There's Mickey sitting there going, you know, things that kind of, you know, who do you trust now? Right. You're supposed to trust this person. And then you find out, you know, they're double dealing behind you. Yeah. You know, it kind of throws everything upside down. And then, and then also giving information. Yeah. Because she told them a little bit of grateful, like, with the whole, um, the three alliance and all that kind of stuff. And really, it, she's the one who kind of blabbed that there was a big, bigger eight, too, aside from Christy blabbing it. Surprise, surprise. You know, well, one of these girls keep their mouth shut. It's gone. <laughs> and, you know, like, Mickey, welcome to the game, buddy. Welcome to the game. You've learned a valuable Big Brother lesson. Don't trust anybody. Including people in your alliance. Alliance. Don't trust them. So even though, like, there is kind of cracks in that alliance, so this, right now, anyway, they seem to be holding firm. Yeah, but you know For what? Now. You know what? Sorry, grateful guys and gals. If you want to stay strong, c- cut Bella out or don't tell them nothing. Well, there had been talk the on the feeds. Um, because of this, yeah, yeah. the information that they received from Kemi, of uh, cutting Bella loose and Nick because he's associated with Bella, and so they weren't sure if they could trust him either. And then they thought of approaching Nicole and um, Sam, I believe, because Sam's pretty much voted with them and stuff like that. Yeah, they, uh, he didn't use a veto when they, they asked him not to, that kind of thing. So they've talked about that, and I know. Bella has kind of made uh, inroads to Nicole. She has, as far as I've seen, anyway, she hasn't actually asked her outright if she wants to be part of Grateful, but it looks like they've talked about it about yeah. maybe bringing them in instead, of, and then getting rid of Bella and Nick because they're not really sure they can trust them because Bella can't keep her mouth shut, but really neither can Christy. So, you know, but the thing is, she's basically telling grateful the information she's not telling the other side the information yeah. although she is part of the reason why some of the other side even also is a bigger alliance yeah. at play here because she basically blurred it out well and so well, um bella kind of let sam know that hey there's a bigger alliance and you know, yeah yeah you're not part of it right and so sam was floored by that i mean i don't know how how how, how are you Floored by this because you were just in the HOH the other day and they were talking about the other side of the house and all this, and you don't realize it's a bigger alliance. They didn't say their name, but really? <laughs> uh, oh, it makes really? my head hurt. I, I was, I'm always kind of surprised by the fact that these people don't seem to clue in. <laughs> I don't get it. I mean, I know we're seeing more to get to the yeah. feet and we get to the show than they like, but they're there 24 7. Not well, everybody oh. watches the feeds and everything 24 7. Maybe some people do, but not everybody does. But you know, like, how do you not clue in to the, I don't, anyway? And, but, and Jack is kind of act, you know, these guys can't keep their mouths shut. Jack has kind of slipped up that there's a bigger group. My group. Oh, he even called it grateful. You know. He even added the name to Cammy, And Cammy did try to use this, this info to the best for her ability. Know. However, once we got to eviction night, it was ten. It, it was ten to one. one. And actually, what was interesting is Jackson voted just so. Now, at this point, he might have told somebody. I don't know. We don't know why he no. did that. It could be that... It could be he was trying to throw somebody under the bus. It could be, like, you know, the chaos kind of vote. Yeah. Or it could be maybe he did respect her game and they decided to give her a vote. I don't know. So, 
At she, this point, I'm not really sure. She's the next one and can't she come back. Can't come back. So. And? There's one more. And that'll be next week. And then, I'm not sure if next week, I think, from what Julie Chen said, um, next week sounds like it might be the competition for the one person to come back in. So. Yeah, I think so. Because that will like. that'll be the, the last, this will be the last contestant. And, uh, right, and that'll be uh, four. That week. So uh, I don't know if it's going to be on the eviction night, which sometimes it is. Could be. Or if it'll be like after like HOH and all that, but it, you would think they should have the chance to get HOH too yeah. if they're coming back in the house. So, so now we'll have to see who next week it's going to be. And now, really, when they did HOH, it's going to be kind of interesting too. But this HOH, what they plan to do, so the HOH competition was, was like it was like a, a big um, um, like dart target. Like, like a big dart board, dart board. Kind of thing. And um, you had whoever scored the highest would be HOH. HOH. But say if you scored higher than the first one, you knocked them out. And right. So, so one who high was with the win. And if you didn't hit it, you got zero. Zero. But you could also go for two prizes. One was $5,000 and the other was safety. So, and, and, and once no one was playing, and once was playing. Nobody else would get it. I don't know. It looked like some of them might have tried for it, but nobody got even one. And, like, they had to throw it um, underhanded. Right. And they did. Oh, with, like, these tree stomp Stomp things. kind of things. <laughs> um, and so in the, Nick actually won HOH. With a score of 90. It was pretty, almost near the center. It was, it was a pretty good score. Nobody even came close. <laughs> well, because, um, like, the closest we, score, I think, was like 70. Um, so we had Annalise. She started with, uh, with 50. Christy pushed her out at 65. And then Nick hit it at 90. Yeah, and nobody and no one out, it. No one topped it. Like I said, it. I think the closest one was like 70. But nobody got any higher than that. But So what's interesting with Nick is who will he choose? Because... They're saying he's kind of playing both sides of the house. Is he? He's he's saying grateful. So I haven't seen him do much against grateful. He talks to some of the other people in the house, which is really what you should do. Oh, but, for sure. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard who his target would be. Is he going to listen to Jack and Jackson? Is he going to still go after like jazz? Is he going to go after Cliff? Because now they're afraid of Cliff because <laughs> of the old fellowship of the Zing. Um, Seriously. Here's the thing, guys. More than just Cliff know about this alliance yeah. now. So Cam is basically added to, um, you know, it's not David just figured y'all out. David figured y'all out a long time ago, and he's all, he, you know, he, he missed all week. So and Obi kind of had an idea that Obi, was... yeah, most of them have an yeah. idea now. So you know, so so, so it's going to be interesting to what Mick decides to do. Exactly. Nominations will be later today. So. But you'll have to tune in after the episode to you'll, find out. You'll have to find out Sunday or Monday. Yeah. When we do the, our nomination episode. Because no spoilers. No. Because no a lot of people don't like them. We, no spoilers we like for them. You. We like them, but a lot of people don't. So we want to respect that if you're watching this, you may not like spoilers. Exactly. Well, we won't give them to you. <laughs> Well, that's it for this week of Big Brother Season 21. We gotta go? We gotta go for now. But we will be back on Monday for the nomination uh, episode and ceremony and all that kind of thing. And we will see you next time. Hope you have a good weekend. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when we upload. And we'll see you then. Take care, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.